Who do you call when you need to measure flow into a sewer lagoon? Well, if you call C.C. Lynch, one technique that we use is a metering insert. So we're on the bank, and here's the final manhole before uh, the uh, influent pipe to the lagoon. The metering insert uh, is a weir device that slid into the invert, and uh, there's an inflatable bladder around the outside that uh, we fill with a foot pump uh, to hold the unit in place push the water through the metering device. That's connected to the ISCO 4230 flow meter that charts the flow. We can also do a daily summary with totals, min, max, average, when it occurred, rainfall, and water quality. Uh, we actually witnessed when the flow started to trickle and started recording flows uh, beginning at 0.1 gallon per minute. Currently, we're flowing at uh, a little over 14 gallons per minute. Uh, it's a small gravity, very shallow. Had it been deeper, we have extension poles. Installed a, an 8-inch insert with the round orifice in the invert connected to a 4230. You can see that the water level is starting to gather, but there's not quite any flow yet in gallons per minute in the lower left-hand corner. Hope you can see that. I'm watching also in the insert where there is no flow currently. So we're, it's zero flow and we're witnessing zero flow. In a moment, the, the water will accumulate behind the orifice and begin to pour through the insert. It's starting to trickle now. It's still below, up oh, there we go, to 0.1 gallon per minute. So practically instantaneous, and we're measuring basically a trickle, a trickle of flow going through here. Um, it should be noted that this um, minimal depth is going to be an issue when we try to pull some of these samples. So I think we'll have enough to get the, uh, the test run, but you can see there's just very minimal depth. There goes the flow meter purging its airline to make sure it's not plugging as the water begins to increase against the front of the insert. 